Two children float motionlessly in a space station. The 20 kilogram girl pushes on the 40 kilogram boy, and he sails away at 1.0 meters per second. What happens to the girl? All right, so this is, this is actually a, a bit more mathematical than a typical question in this book. Um, but this is one where we get to use the, uh, the conservation of momentum formula here. So in this case, it says that both of the children are floating motionlessly at the start. First off, what kind of space station is this? They just let children hang out here. They just push each other around. But whatever, whatever. They're both motionless at the start. So the total momentum here is going, whatever it is, is going to equal zero. Since without any velocity, those zeros are just going to cancel out their masses. So we need, a, so whatever their new momentums are, need to be, need to be canceling each other out to get zero. Uh, so we've got, so we've got zero, and that's going to equal the good says the girl is 20 kilograms, so uh, so the it's, so the momentum is of course mass times velocity. So we have her mass, but her velocity, whatever's happening to her now, is going to be that that's our unknown. That's what we're trying to find. This is going to be plus the boy's mass, which is 40 kilograms, and his velocity says here he's been pushed away at one point zero meters per second. So this is just, so uh, this right side here is just going to equal 40. So let's see. So we need a value then for V that will, for the girl's velocity, that will make this equal a term that will equal um, 40. So mathematically we can figure out if 20 V have to equal um, uh, 40 total, as we can see here from the numbers. It's simple algebra. We can figure out the girl's velocity must be 2, but it's going to have to be 2 in the opposite direction. So if you wrote, would write um, the boy's speed as being just positive 1.0 meters per second, you'd have to write the girl's velocity as 2.0 uh, meters per second negatively to make it clear that she's now moving in the opposite direction to the boy.